Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and the visionary of the Valder Beebe show, God Talk. Some people talk to God and others believe that God talks to them. Join us in conversation with authors, religious clergy, metaphysicians, and regular people like you and I and God Talk. God Talk is a podcast available on FM Radio, Roku TV, and online. Subscribe at ValderBBShow.com. You can also subscribe at YouTube.com slash ValderBBShow. Join the conversation of God Talk. I'll see you there. Good day and welcome to the Valder Beebe Show. I hope your Monday is fabulous. Mine is, and I've got two great guests for you. I've got Dr. Gomez in the studio and I've got Andrea, and they're here to talk about lung cancer. They'll talk about the survival rates across the U.S. and some other details. So pay attention. Dr. Gomez, welcome to the Valder Beebe Show for the first time. And Andrea, welcome also too. Thank you for having us. Thank you for having us. I'm going to start with you, Dr. Gomez. Tell me what small cell lung cancer is for us to have a, just a better understanding of this conversation. So non-small cell lung cancer is a type of cancer. Is It's the most common type of lung cancer that patients can get. Some of the patients get it from tobacco consumption. Others are non-smokers. And it is one of the uh, more easily treatable lung cancers. Is there still a stigma behind lung cancer? Because I know at one time people, it seemed they didn't have empathy because they felt that you were a smoker and you got cancer. I guess you deserved it. I, I'm not sure about that. But it, there wasn't a lot of empathy uh, as far as breast cancer and other types of cancer. You know, as much as things have improved, there is still a stigma with lung cancer. Nobody deserves to have lung cancer. And it doesn't matter whether your lung cancer is related to tobacco or it's not related to tobacco. Lung cancer is a terrible disease for everyone. Andrea, you're president and the CEO of the Longevity Foundation. How do you intersect with this topic of uh, uh, non-small cell lung cancer? So Longevity Foundation is the uh, largest lung cancer patient advocacy group in the country um, at the moment. And we do a lot, we invest a lot of money into research uh, for lung cancer to advance treatments as well as ways of finding it earlier. Um, we provide information and education as well as survivorship and support resources for patients as well. Um, and just to, to revisit the stigma question for one quick moment, if I may, is uh, to, to Dr. Gomez's point, absolutely the stigma is still out there, but I think that what is changing and what's news with respect to lung cancer is the hope. You know, Dr. Gomez referred to new treatment options that are available. And unlike five years ago, certainly not 10 years ago, now there are things that we can do to treat lung cancer and to help people live longer and better with the disease. And that didn't exist before. And I think that, that is helping with the stigma. Thank you so much for that, because that's a great opportunity for me to ask Dr. Gomez. Tell me about the survival rate. If there's new treatment on the horizon and new research, what are the survival rates? Are, are they on the rise? So fortunately, survival for lung cancer has improved uh, even since the late early 1990s, but uh, more recently has improved even more significantly. Between 2014 and 2018, we saw a significant rise in the survival from lung cancer. And most of this is driven by newer and better therapies. Tell me about the comprehensive biomarker testing. I think that's something people need to hear. Yes, I, I completely agree. You know, comprehensive biomarker testing is a way for us to look at a tumor to try to find out if there are abnormalities, genetic abnormalities, what we call drivers or biomarkers that are uh, involved with tumor growth and spread and that can be used to try to treat the cancer. So there are many of these uh, drivers or biomarkers that we can actually address as a good way of treating lung cancer. So it's very important for everyone, every patient who's diagnosed with lung cancer to talk to their doctor to find out if biomarker testing, comprehensive biomarker testing has been performed and it's comprehensive because it, it looks at all of the different drivers for which we have available drugs. So patients have to make sure that they've had comprehensive testing. 
and they have to make sure that if they do have one of these drivers or, or biomarkers, that it is used for their treatment. We're heard on a lot of platforms, and one of the social media platforms, uh, Instagram, they would like to know what type of doctor treats lung cancer? Lung cancer is treated by medical oncologists, although there are early stage lung cancers that can be treated by thoracic surgeons, and radiation can also play a significant role. Uh, pulmonologists also play a role in the treatment of lung cancer. The, one of the important things to talk to your doctor about is whether or not there is a multidisciplinary team that can take care of lung cancer. I think this information from you, Dr. Gomez and Andrea, will help a lot of people at least start the journey. Andrea, where can my audience go to learn more about the biomarker testing in lung cancer? Can you give me that information? Absolutely, yes. Uh, to learn more information about lung cancer and, and biomarker testing with respect to non-small cell lung cancer, I strongly encourage anybody to visit the noonemiss.org website. Um, there, there'll be a lot of educational information as well as downloadable materials that they can print out, um, questions to ask your doctor, how to understand the test results, and how to receive optimal care. They can also visit the longevity.org website to get further information and additional resources to help them navigate their disease. This has been a very informative interview. I'd like to thank you, Dr. Gomez and Andrea, for being here to talk about it and give my audience some assistance. Thank you. Thank you very thank much. Thank you for having us. Thank you. Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I host the Valder Beebe Show broadcast on radio and television, and this is My Phone Pouch. My phone pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.